Oregon's governor today put the pause on her state's reopening after a surge in coronavirus cases there. Cairo 7's Graham Johnson asked an expert about the impact the protests might have on our case count. Here in Western Washington, things are still looking pretty good. We have not seen a jump in new case counts, but in other parts of the state and the region, there is growing concern. Good morning, everyone. Today, Oregon Governor Kate Brown gave reopening what she calls a statewide yellow light. The noticeable increase in COVID-19 infections in Oregon over the past week is certainly cause for concern. Yesterday, Oregon recorded its highest ever count in new COVID-19 cases, and the percentage of positive tests is up more than 50 percent. I am putting all, all pending county reopening applications on hold for seven days. Some Washington counties, especially east of the mountains, are also seeing an increase as the economy slowly reopens. We've been doing a pretty good job here in western Washington, it seems. Um, we are keeping a really close eye on that. Maybe there's a small increase, but it's not much. But other parts of the state, for sure, have seen some substantial increases. Dr. Keith Jerome of the University of Washington and Fred Hutch tells me new cases seem to be coming now from specific workplaces or gatherings. As he watches the protests, Dr. Jerome says most demonstrators seem to be wearing masks and distancing, and he says being outdoors helps limit transmission. On average, he says people start showing symptoms five to seven days after they're exposed. Realistically, we ought to start seeing this. We should be seeing it now, and I think we're not seeing a huge increase in Western Washington. Um, so maybe it means, maybe that means, you know, we're going to get by and get through this period uh, without a lot of transmission due to the protests. But also we know that people can go out two weeks before they show symptoms. Dr. Jerome runs the UW's virology lab. He says many protesters are now getting tested. He says tests are now so widely available. Yesterday, his lab processed 4,500, the most ever. Graham Johnson, Cairo 7 News.